So I went to the store the other day and picked up these panda platies. Um, they have become one of my favorite fish uh, of the platy family. I just like the coloration on these guys. Um, this is my first time owning them. And I'll be glad to show you guys how these guys look. Now, uh, with that being said, I only had them for two weeks. And they are already laying fry, which I've moved into another tank, which I will show you guys here in a few. So let's look at the panda platies. Here's one guy. Whenever I pull the camera out, they get really scared, so I walk by the tank. They haven't got used to me yet. As you can see right there, there's one in the background. But yeah, there goes one right there. I think that's one of the females. Or, no, there might be one of the, the, the one male that's in here. I like to buy fish in trios, so I always buy like, depending on the type of fish, but normally like platies or guppies or mollies, I try to go with one male and get two females and start from there. But as you can see, there goes one. Um, the other guy is down here at the bottom. When I come up to the tank, it kind of went into that position. As you see, it's a ground the tank right now, but as you can see, like right there, that is a fry. That was one of the last guys, if I can get this glue out for here. That is one of the last guys that I have to get out, out of this tank. Like I said, uh, maybe five days after I got them, they started to lay fry all over the tank. And for now, I got them in this 10 gallon um, that was right here that I used to house my people friend. But now I need to top it off and um, I'm supposed to be moving to this rack soon. Now over here on this rack, I forgot to take that stick off right there, but here are the five. As you can see, there goes one. Um, I collected by 10 or 12 of them that was in the tank. They all throughout this guppy grass. As you know, I like to keep guppy grass and I've been getting pretty good with this frog bit. So, um, all these tanks I think are great for a frog bit, you know. You never can have too many plants in one tank, to me. You know, unless it affects their, unless it affects their way to swim or anything like that. But for these small fry, I like to keep guppy grass in there. As you can see, if I can focus, that goes a baby right there in the back. Here goes another one here on the bottom. And they're gonna grow up. I was looking at the, you know, speckles on them and the coloration. Um, There's a couple of them that are mostly white, but a lot of them have that black at the end. So that let me know wherever they came from. Um, as you can see right here, like that one, wherever they came from, they was uh, bred back to what they originally. You know, sometimes people, you know, at pet stores and things like that, they kind of mix them up together and you might get something mixed breed or something like that. So those go with another one. As you can see, it doesn't have like the freckles on it, but it got it on the tail. Then we have an update on this tank here. Um, as you can see, I just got the top row left to fill up. But as you can see, all of these tanks are pretty much full. Um, stay tuned next week, because I got a surprise coming that I should start working on Tuesday. A big video that I got coming out, but as you can see in here, if I can get this glue out for this, it is also some mascal blue and green guppy fry that are in here. They have seemed to start laying more often. Um, both of my females, like I said, I buy in the trio, one male and two females, and they are laying like crazy. As you can see, this tank kind of green. I need to clean like the side of the tank off, but I thought I saw a baby that was sitting up here a while ago. But they all came out of this tank. 
Um, in a few, I will be pulling my mask out, blue and green guppy out, so I can show you guys an update of him, how he's looking. He's getting his fins, as you know, when I first got him, his fins were um, damaged, I guess, uh, for being in the tank that he was in when I got him from the fish store. But as you can see, these guys are good. And I like to keep these tanks naked at the bottom because naked and brown because I don't want any, you know, getting them stuck in the gravel or anything like that. And I got my sponge filter running right there. Like I said, got the guppy grass and got some duckweed up there. I don't know if I said duckweed earlier in the video. But as you can see, got quite a few fry. Um, I put these tanks up two days ago. And here is the pandas. So everybody is doing pretty good. Um, another thing I wanted to do in this video is this tank right here. And there's nothing in this tank besides a auto catfish somewhere in here. But as you can see, I got frog bit. So I'm starting to, the more frog bit that I get, the more I'm trying to expand it in tanks. But I don't kind of want to stay in this rack. Over here, I got my Mickey Mouse and other platy. You can see that goes a fry right there. These guys are doing good. It's like 30 of these guys in here. You can see some of my orange. And I also have that guppy and a cobra guppy also in here, kind of babysitting those guys. But these guys are looking good. As you can see, you see a little bit of orange back there all in the back. These guys are healthy. And here's the parents to those guys. I got these orange fish in here. Um, then I have this guy right here, which is a female, Mickey Mouse Platy. And I got them all in this tank, you know, they chilling. And I'm pretty sure I saw some more frying here today. Also, I took this tank down and haven't got to set it up yet quite. Um, I'm trying to plan on what I, I'm trying to think what I'm going to do with this tank. I just haven't made my mind up. I kind of want to move my Lemia fish in there. Look at that green water. That tank right there is the only tank that give me problem with high algae, but I really don't mind. Um, like I say, my Lemia fish, I'm thinking about escaping and doing a tank for them right there. So the fish I was going to be putting in this right here is going to be fish out of this tote. So I want to pick, you know, certain select fish out of here and put them in a tote and try to get them to breed in the tank. Now I know they've been breeding her because over here I've been seeing like small fry and things like that. But I want to just put some of them in a tank so I can see them. So what I'm going to do is try and scoop out some of these big ones so that I can show you guys and put them in a 10 gallon. Some more water in here. So, as you guys can see, if I can, oh, wait, camera focus, you see, like that one, that's a pretty big female. This one right here, see the colors on him? The yellow and blue, kind of white, and it's finished. Have a couple males in here that I can put. These look totally different from um, the ones that got like the red flame in their tails. So I'm gonna pick a few out of her and I'm gonna put them into that 10 gallon.
as you can see, here go some of those guys. As you can see, the pattern a little bit better in these and this tank. So these guys are the same brothers from them. That one right there. This is one of my first guppies that I ever, you know, raised from a, a small fry. Should be one other one in here. Somewhere running around in here. And this eyeball tank. I'm getting ready to move some of these fish out of here too, also. But as you can see, the coloration on him looks good. I like it. Um, and these are just, you know, projects. So this guppy right here, I've been having him for about a year. Almost a year, I think. And so yeah, that's it for this video. Stay tuned and hey, no tanks to catch you on the next one.